Hi, Gemini, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what potential blessings are coming in your direction in this month of May 2023. Now, if you're interested in the exclusive bonus content portion of this reading, where I'll be channeling uh, with these decks right here, I'll be channeling what potential blessings are coming in your direction in love, in career, and what mindset you need to have in order to maximize those blessings. Then take a look down below in the description box and click on my official Patreon link. That's going to take you over to my Patreon tier number two, Oracle of Revelation. And that's where you can get the access exclusive bonus messages. Now, I created tier number two to also include tier number one, which is my weekly pick a card reading with life shuffling. And there I focus on channeling messages on your week ahead. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alexa Taro. And if you're interested in my story in a private reading or in my credentials, just look down below in the description box and click on my Paths of Healing website. My name is Alexa Taro, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to you, my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to give those thumbs up. So continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. And don't forget to click on that notification bell. So anytime I go uh, live on live stream or whenever I post a new uh, videos, you, you are the first to know. Okay, so you don't miss out on that. All right. Let's take a look here at what potential blessings are coming in your direction here. Um, Gemini, Gemini, potential blessings, May 2023. All right, Gemini, so we have here, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Now, this could be in area, any area of your life. It could be in love, in career, and in other personal matters. Now, what I'm getting here is that there's this sense here of you voicing your opinion. And that's the first thing that came up uh, for you here, Gemini. Now, you are ruled by Mercury. Mercury has a lot to do with the throat chakra, with communication, thoughtful communication, um, and, you know, the mind, right? And it's interesting because this card right here, has a lot of blue and the energy center of the body that's associated with the color blue is the throat chakra. So I feel here this month, the blessing of you being able to voice what you're feeling, voice your opinions, your thoughts, but also be a good listener, an active listener. Okay. Being able to listen to the messages that you also receive because the throat chakra includes your ears as well, right? Active listening, compassionate listening. And what I'm also getting here with you is like listening to those uh, thoughts, listening to any intuitive or gut level feelings that you may be feeling or may be expanding here for you this month in May. Okay. So that's what I'm getting here. Um, if we're, uh, don't back down and exactly what I was talking about intuition right behind it, you have high priestess, of course, you know, sign symbol synchronicities, but this is also validation confirmation of what I was just talking about in regards to your throat chakra. If you take a look here, you see here a, uh, the blue energy center, the throat chakra here, really, you know, uh, out there. Okay. So this is saying, this is emphasizing yet again, what I was feeling, uh, at the first part of this reading, which is, I feel that this month there is going to be this blessing of you being able to, uh, share your thoughts, your feelings, and be able also to be a good listener. Now this listening part, okay. Which is the, the, the part that I just talked about a little while ago is being able to listen and to, you know, believe and to trust and to embrace those intuitive nudges. Here with the high priestess, it says, you have a divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings. 
So there may be here some intuitive hits in this month of May that not only are going to be beneficial for you, not only are they going to help you, but they are also going to, in a way, help you help others in in return or also, okay? So when you are speaking to your friends, family, loved ones, when you walk into a room and you're getting um, intuitive nudges, okay? Maybe flashes of images in your mind, okay? So that's clairvoyant tendencies. Um, something that you're feeling, clairsentience, just getting knowledge or getting information and not knowing how it came, but you're you're truly, you truly just know, have a sense of knowing that's claricognizance. Okay. Um, you know, and you know, just exploring those realms, um, and those intuitive, um, portions of yourself. Okay. I'm also getting, and I just channeled realms. Some of you are mediums as well. Okay. So that medium, medium mystic type of, uh, intuitive ability that you're able to, um, um, connect with others from the other side or loved ones from the other side. So I'm getting all these messages for you here, Gemini, as, uh, you know, as a blessing that it's coming, uh, through for you this month. Now, this blessing could be not only for you, but you, just you helping other people. Okay. So that's very important here to stress because yes, this could be for your own inner awareness. Okay. And that inner awareness is going to help you and it's going to strengthen you, uh, your ability here to not back down from whatever it is that you're feeling from whatever it is that you're seeing from whatever it is that your six senses are communicating with you in this month of May. Okay. So beautiful messages here in regards to that blessing that's coming in your direction. Now, what's interesting is um, that intuitive abilities not only um, stem from the third eye chakra, but they also stem from the gut level feeling, the solar plex energy. And as I'm looking here, there's a big yellow circle behind this high priestess. And the yellow circle also uh, is symbolizes here the solar plex chakra of the body, which is represented by the color yellow. So a lot of you may see, may feel intuitive hits this month of May. And those, or that gut level feeling is going to help you steer in the direction of you really gaining your power, being bold and standing in your power, not allowing someone else's ideas, judgments, opinions to steer you in a different direction. You're not going to back down. And I also feel this is not just spiritually, you're not going to back down from what you're feeling, sensing or experiencing, but you're also on the earth plane, not going to back down from whatever it is that you may want to share with others. Okay. All right, so let's take a look here at what other blessing is coming in your direction here. Well, Knight of Wands. Now, interesting, it says activity. I feel that this activity, this momentum, this energy, this blessing that's coming in your direction in the month of May has a lot to do with what already channeled here. The ability for you to move in the direction of being able to, again, not only voice your opinion, your concerns, your questions, but also be able to listen to those in return. Okay. So also to listen and to uh, intuitively connect more with your inner Oracle, trust those intuitive hits this month of uh, May here. And the Knight of Wands is also about passion. It's also about creativity. So some of you here may be propelled, may be pushed, may feel an impulse to go in a direction, in a creative direction. Okay. So a hobby, a skill, a special skill, maybe something that you are intuitively feeling or have been questioning in the back of your mind. Okay. For quite some time, should I go in this new venture? Should I go in this new direction? So should, should I start this new project or this new idea? So that is the energy here that I'm getting for you in regards to this blessing, this creative muse inspiration. Some of you are going to be inspired to travel, uh, here, or there may be some traveling plans or thought of traveling, relocating this relocation and travel can be in love as well. Okay. Going away on vacation with your loved one, your spouse, your connections, 
okay? Um, and I'm also getting here, moving in a direction like maybe for work, okay? So that type of activity, being able to say to yourself, you know what? There is something here that I feel that I should shift gears or uh, move in a different direction because that's where my heart is. That's where my passion is, okay? And if you look here um, on this card, there is this, you know, heart on fire. And guess what? That Guess what? That is not a coincidence because Juan's energy is that fire energy, is that yang energy. So whatever it is that you are intuitively feeling in the bottom of your heart, something that you feel really passionately connected to, that may be in the direction you are, you know, intuitively guided to go towards, move towards here in the month of May. Now, guess what, Gemini? I have a whole lot more to share with you. So look down below in the description box. Click on that Patreon link. I'll meet you on Patreon. For others of you, click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here, click up here for more messages, and I'll see you on Patreon.